Hello, my name is Rob Hopkins from Transition Network and it's my great honour to be able to join you today to wish you a happy International Permaculture Day. And I thought given the theme of this year's International Permaculture Day, which is Grow Local, to, uh, to record this little message uh, to celebrate International Permaculture Day in my greenhouse. So it's, uh, it's spring here in the UK, it's been a very long cold spring uh, and so things are about a month behind I think where they would normally be. But here in the greenhouse we've got some uh, lettuce coming up, some uh, coriander, uh, rocket, some uh, red mizuna, some peas are starting to uh, pop up now uh, and some dwarf French beans. The, uh, the uh, peach trees finished flowering and there's lots of seedlings starting to come up in trays so it really feels like this year's, uh, this year's uh, local growing uh, is underway. And outside there's garlic coming up, onions coming up, uh, beetroot coming up and uh, having my own garden and growing uh, some of my family's food has been something that's really mattered to me for a long long time and uh, uh, even after last year the, uh, the apocalypse of the slugs uh, when basically the entire garden where it rained for about 12 months solid and the slugs just took over the entire place and declared an independent slug free state and uh, banished me to the house uh, I'm back at it again and so far this year looks like it's going to be a bit better so um, so uh, International Permaculture Day is, uh, is a fantastic institution and, uh, and I'm really honoured uh, to be able to say something. And so I suppose for me the idea of Grow Local uh, is something that has really informed my work ever since I did my permaculture design course in 1992. And the transition um, movement, the transition model approach which I've been involved in the, uh, the uh, uh, spreading of and the development of it's really about taking that idea of grow local and s rather than seeing it as a kind of fringe kind of alternative um, uh, green movement idea it's really about saying actually grow local is the fundamental economic shift the economic model uh, in the same way I think that Reaganism and Thatcherism was in the 1980s I think grow local is now in terms of uh, the constraints we're coming up against in terms of peak oil, in terms of climate change, in terms of the enormous debt mountain and uh, I speak to people in local government, uh, in businesses and so on who say this economic growth thing ain't going to happen anymore uh, in spite of the fact that it's the big push all around the world in terms of governments actually when you talk to a lot of those people on their own they really don't believe it it's possible either and at the moment we're presented with these two models austerity like like my peach tree here where you cut it back down to the ground and hope that it will send up fresh shoots uh, a fairly brutal uh, economic approach or the new deal the idea that we borrow more money from the future in order to try and recreate economic growth as we've known it up until now I would argue that there is a third approach uh, which is uh, which is transition which is really the idea of community resilience as economic development that rather than looking at local food local microbreweries uh, the whole explosion of community renewables local currencies all of these sort of things rather than seeing them as small isolated um, uh, bits and bobs here and there they're really when you join them up together there's a new emerging economic story and one of the best examples of that was that here in Totnes, in Transition Town Totnes, we just completed what we call an economic blueprint, a local economic blueprint, which maps the economy of the town for the first time in real detail. So we know, for example, how much money we spend on food every year. Uh, and for a town of 8,500 people with, its, with about 20,000 people living in the surrounding area, we spend about £30 million pounds a year on food, of which... Um, 22 million goes out through just two supermarkets, 17 through just one supermarket. So, first thing, I mean, we have quite a strong local food economy compared to other places, but it means that we're able to, to say now if we could just shift to collectively 10% of what we spend on food to local food businesses, that's two million pounds coming into our economy every year. Where else is that going to come from? There is no cavalry coming riding to our rescue. Maybe we can be that cavalry by seeing go local uh, as a form of economic development. And I think you know, we can we can really scale that up. It's not just about because actually 
that form of development, that that, that local based sort of community based economics actually has a better ability to deliver meaningful jobs, to deliver economic resilience, to deliver stability, to deliver jobs for people than, uh, than the current model which is really failing. So, um, so I suppose for me, go local, we need to take that idea out and scale it up. It's not just about uh, coriander and lettuce in greenhouses, although those have, a, those have a really important role to play. It's about saying that in, inherently within this uh, there is the potential for a new economic model uh, and one that we desperately, desperately need. But fortunately, which we can already see and taste and smell happening in communities around the world. So have a very, uh, have a wonderful International Permaculture Day and, uh, and uh, thanks very much.